Activity of 2020 continues today. Game two, you guys are the visiting team, your home ballpark. You go to extra innings, which is the eighth inning. You got La Tortuga on second base. He comes in to score. What was it like to be a part of a game like that, but most importantly, then see your team come together in a complete effort to get the win? Yeah. Um, circumstances, they, they are a little, uh, little crazy, a little odd. Um, you're reminding yourself what inning it is. You're reminding yourself that, uh, you know, if you score and go ahead, that the game's not over. Uh, you do have to remind yourself of a few things. Uh, I don't think our guys let anything uh, get to them. Our guys just kept playing. They were tight ball games, uh, both of them. Um, there was very little separating each team uh, in, in today's games. And our guys kept battling. I, I'm very, very happy uh, with, with what we saw um, and our, our, our pitchers really, too, from, from beginning to end, uh, really, really got the job done. I mean, we needed excellent outings from a number of guys, uh, and that's exactly what we got. So that was very nice. The top of the seventh inning uh, was big in the way that you guys were able to get it done. A couple key walks, you have good base running there from, or heads up base running from AD. Uh, and then Jorge Blanco with his fourth hit of the day. Uh, how nice was it to see your team put together an inning like that to tie things up in, in a way where it wasn't really all about big hits? Yeah, yeah, it wasn't about one particular thing. There was a lot going on that inning. It took uh, a number of very good uh, uh, baseball plays. Our guys remained focused. Um, like you say, AD uh, with, with the at bat and with, uh, with, with his base running. Uh, JD going up there, uh, you know, cold, going up there and, and taking the at bat and uh, getting on base and, and making things happen. I, I, you know, that's what we talk about. We talk about sometimes you just got to go up out there and make something happen. You can't rely on, um, you know, something just kind of falling your way. You got to go out there and have the good at bats. And uh, they came together. They, 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 the at bats came together with some runs and, and, you know, we ended up winning. It was, it was good. Was it a tough decision or I guess what was the thought process of pinch hitting uh, for Brent Rooker there in that situation and going with Billy and Zosadio who, was making his first appearance of the season. Yeah, and, and Rook's strength is, is obviously his, his bat is definitely one of his biggest strengths, and he hits uh, right-handed pitching uh, even as well or better than, than left-handed pitching. And, um, you know, we saw a guy that was out there uh, for the Tigers throwing the ball very well and getting some swings and misses and, and doing a good job, and we had uh, obviously a runner in scoring position. And one thing you do know is that when uh, when Williams is, um, is getting... Uh, you know, pitch to, and, and he's taking swings. He's going to put it in play, and he's going to give you a chance to, to get a run home. So um, that was the uh, the thinking, but not easy because you're pinch hitting for a good offensive player too. Um, just happy that it ended up working out.